Merlin Evans, RTO Today, Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, live at the Trib Meeting of the Minds event and buying show here with Ernie, Llew Ernie Llewellyn, excuse me, longtime Rintone industry player, a pro board member and president, as well as Trib Group president. How are you, Ernie? I'm good, Merlin. How are you? Fantastic, fantastic. Yesterday, day one, uh, Meeting of the Minds, session one. Is that the day it really gets cooking, or is today more involved? No, it starts yesterday. We had um, a full day of meetings and discussions pertinent to the climate of today's rent-to-own industry. And um, very useful, very fruitful conversations. Did anything particular come out with regard to, of course, the industry study of marketing to that potential customer? There was a lot of discussion. Um, there's been an awareness of the public relations needs of our industry for about as long as I've been in the business. It was interesting to me because as an April director years ago, I was the chairman of the public relations committee and we uh, attacked our image you know, on a full scale basis. And it sounds to me like there's a renaissance going on, going back in time and revisiting those same thoughts. And while we've done a great job as an industry, we've cleaned up stores, we've cleaned up images, we've done benevolent things for people back home that need stuff from us, there are still many people across America that look at rent to own as a, as a transaction that they wouldn't want to be involved in, and we need to do what we can do to change that. What are you doing to change that um, at your storefront level at UHR? We, we have been doing whatever we can do over the years to best help the customer. And that's defined in many ways and in under many different uh, areas of need. Customers might need to help with payment this week. They might need help moving product because they're changing addresses. They, they may need to return something and then come back and want the, the knowledge and the confidence that in a few months they can pick back up where they left off. We've experienced high unemployment in Ohio. And uh, the, the business environment isn't what it was a few years ago. So there are very unique needs that our customers have today that, that I don't think they had five, ten years ago. Right. So true. Now, when you head into the buying show today, heading into the fourth quarter with these things on your mind, uh, are you going to buy, I guess, liberally, conservatively? How would you approach this fourth quarter, 2011? I, I think that... Uh, Prudence is the best, uh, the best operating strategy that we all have for today. I'm not sure that a lot of dealers are going to stock their warehouses full of inventory because we don't know what kind of business rush is coming and prices change so rapidly. It's uh, a television you buy today for $400 could easily be $300 in a month and you could have some overpriced inventory in the barn. So I think we're all very cautious. How's 3D TVs uh, worked or not worked for UHR at this point? It hasn't worked yet. It's, um, it's, a, it's a wonderful concept. It's still pricey. Uh, the cost of those glasses, the active glasses, not the passive glasses, but they're just very difficult. And I think from a rental dealer's perspective, the thought of replacing an expensive pair of glasses keeps us away. But uh, the technology continues to be pushing ahead. It, it was first introduced with the DLP product and now with the LCD and the LED product. And I think it's, um, it's one that's going to be with us for a while. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Ernie, to uh, address our RTO, rent-to-own audience? Well, I would say this. If you're not a TRIB member, you ought to be. Uh, you're missing out on some great values with inventory. You're missing out on the camaraderie and the, the unity this group has provided for its members over the years. And uh, I just simply close it with that. If